Salutations and good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be hopping in and talking about the freshly released Update 6.0. A lot of you guys have seen me go through and do stuff in the test server talking about how there's these things coming, that there's going to be new updates, that they're adding new bugs, that they're adding new bees, oh. that they're adding these flying creatures the to the game, new armor, new process weapons, process. and all of that. Well, I'm very happy to report that we are finally at the point where everybody can get access to it, even without being in the public test server. All you have to do is update your game and you will have access to the bees, to the fireflies, to the mosquitoes, and to the new armor and weapons. I'm very happy that this has finally been released for everybody, and it's fun to see that we are able to get in, and everybody can have fun fighting off all of these new creatures. Now, I want to just walk around a little bit and go check out and talk about a couple quick things for you guys, for those of you who are just joining 6.0, and you guys were looking for a little bit of help. So I'm going to run up over here. Excuse me while I'm playing one-handed. The eagle eye of you may understand why I'm playing one-handed. Um, so I'm going to run up right over here really quick. And what I'm going to say is if you guys want to fight fire, or fight the mosquitoes, just go over by the rocks by the lake. If you guys go over by the rocks and the lake, that's where they're going to tend to be. So pretty much right over here in this area, this is going to be the best place to find a mosquito. They'll be right here. Or another really good place to find mosquitoes if you guys are looking for them is actually right over here. If you look at that log that's across the water right there, right on the other side of that log on the rocks, there's always a couple mosquitoes there. So you guys can run into them there. And and using the mosquitoes you guys can go ahead and make the mosquito rapier weapon which is an absolutely fantastic weapon has some um life steal on there damage is pretty good and you're able to swing it a lot okay so going back across from that you guys also have the bees the bees tend to float around all the flowers you can see one floating around right there so just keep an eye out for those guys all right and then the fireflies actually end up now there's a water spigot that's in the ground over here okay and they tend to land over there and what a lot of people are saying is it's hard to find them and it's probably because they're kind of easy to miss they're not very they're, they're big but they're not huge and without looking for the little light up butts they're kind of easy to miss so uh, they're only fly around at about 9 p.m normally between uh, 6 and 9 p.m uh, that's normally when they're flying around when it starts to get a little dark outside and then after that um, you have to wait until they're on the ground. After 9 p.m., they're on the ground and walking around with their little light-up butts, and they're kind of hard to miss uh, once they're there, but they are inside of the grass, so just keep an eye out looking for those guys. I'm just going to go over really what's added here really fast. So inside the crafting menu, um, if we go to workbench gear, you have two new things that have been added for bees and fireflies. One is the bee face mask, shoulder pads, and shin guards, and the other one is the firefly headlamp. Now, they've done a little a bit of upgrading to the firefly headlamp here this looks a little bit more complete that little area inside um, and all around the entire helmet just looks a little bit more complete and also they've upgraded the light just a little bit it's very hard to notice but they did upgrade the light just a little bit so you guys will be able to go through see that and get in and, and test out all of that the other thing is that they added it. If you go over to workbench tools, you'll notice that you also have the mosquito needle in here, and then you also have the stinger spear. We'll go over this black ant stuff at another time. Uh, that's a bunch of stuff that's coming to the game that's not in the game yet. Okay, the other thing that they added are these heal bosses. Those are in the game too. Use the mosquito blood sacks and silk rub to make really good items. Get out there, make a couple of them. They're really helpful. And the last thing that they added in uh, for building stuff is they added stuff bees and they also add the stuff fireflies. So that's what the fireflies actually look like. They're very colorful and stuff. Go out there and find you one uh, and take them out. You get bioluminescent goop from them. They're pretty cool. You're all right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the actual... Um, release page on obsidian's website i'm going to read through all the different things that they fixed and different things that they updated for this update so let's go over and do that now okay so here we are on the grounded developer blog 10 uh talking about 6.0 the january 6.0 uh update is released it says happy new year backyarders let's get to meet your new neighbors so uh jumping on down here new creatures mosquitoes fireflies and bees we talked about that uh we went over oh i didn't show you guys the weevil shield but yeah that was added that's really cool really easy to make um we talked about all the armor and stuff oh the new perk there's a new perk barbarian and they renamed uh the mint mallet to the mint mace and you use the mint mace in order to get the barbarian club perk which will up your uh, mallet damage or your hammer damage up to 40 percent 
So really good weapon there. Go ahead and get that one. Make it out. Additional features. Equipped items no longer take up backpack space. This is like one of the greatest things added to Grounded so far. Uh, all platforms equipped items stay on the player after death. Each piece of equipment will take a small amount of durability damage after you die. So this is a big deal. Uh, making it so you actually keep your armor. Because say you're wearing your fin armor and your... Um, your snorkel mask and all of that now when you die underwater say you drown or something like that you will come back with that mask still on so you're able to get back down there and get your stuff so i like that one uh changes into networking uh container inventory contents are no longer replicated to clients until needed as optimization which is good makes it work a little bit better uh more reliable networking calls from clients to the server this means you're going to have high, uh, less high ping and easier uh transitions for people joining your games Oop, you dropped your little nick um, and then reduce the amount of network data sent between various systems. So this is good too, because this is going to, uh, speed up those loading times and stuff and reduce the lag. Other burgle chips now award science when we, re, uh, return, regardless of whether their corresponding burgle quest is active. So that means if you go out and get them, you're now going to have yourself uh, a little bit more raw science. Your mint mallet is now renamed to mint mace and the rotten bee equipment can now be analyzed to unlock the unrotten recipes, which is good. Uh, combat bone weapons have slightly less durability than your stone weapons, which un which is understandable. More unlockable creature attack or more un most unblockable creature attacks are more are now blockable with shields, still unblockable with weapons. A uh, pollen can be thrown. It also slows down enemies. Uh, previously equipped offhand items uh, that were displaced by two-handed weapons are restored when re-equipping one-handed weapons. That means if you take one off and put one on, uh, it's gonna you know you're gonna drop it and then put it back on once you get it back. All right. Um, world nectar now spawns on the top of flowers instead of below them. That's a good thing. There's a lot of interface here that I want to go through with you guys, but I'll let you guys read through that. That's a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. That's just um, fixing like the actual um, visual that you see when you're when you're in the game. So don't worry about that. Well, I want to focus on world buildings and creatures here. Um, creatures now will fade out and fade in when approaching their distance between uh, visual popping. So in other words, it's going to make it so stuff doesn't just like appear anymore. You'll actually see it as you start going up on it. That's pretty good. Bratbar's visual effect is now much better as the ingredients that were crafted. So instead of it blowing up blue, it now blows up like a greenish or it used to blow up red, but now it blows up like a greenish bluish color. It's pretty cool. Uh, added recover backpacks in the game. Um, it, more or less in the, uh, debug menu if you lose your backpack you can say recover backpacks and you're going to recover all of your backpacks that have gotten stuck and anything in them so see you guys lost a backpack you recover that you get it back busted acorns can drop more shells so now instead of only getting one shell you may get two or three from it which is a pretty good thing because uh grounding out acorn shells was always a pain so now that we can do it i'm even happier about that all right buildings uh buildings will in in will be invalid less often when placing inside structures incomplete buildings are more visually apparent which is true um and buoyant markers can now be built on the lower pond um now that means you can build them underwater i don't really find a use for this but i guess you guys could do it if you like to uh creature perception player noise has been uh has a linear fall off as opposed to all heard player noise having the same value regardless of distance increased hearing range for wolf spiders from 2500 to 5000 to account for the above change all right bug fixes i'm gonna go through these really quick uh, because this is just a lot i mean this is a lot of bug fixes guys i mean i'm talking a lot of bug fixes they spent a lot of time going through and fixing bugs for this update so uh top community issues foundations will no longer be invalid when snapping to other foundations to stick out actually i'm going to talk about this one a little bit you guys are talking about foundation placing errors it's been fixed clients can now dump canteens awesome auto saves no longer cause performance hatching that's good fixed issue with clients fa failing uh to spawn in game and having huge bases built um fixed issue when clients would sometimes lose all their inventory mutations and spawn back at the start location when rejoining a game this was a pain in the butt this was a pain in the butt but at the end of the day it's good that this has been fixed because you never like to lose items and now you shouldn't be losing any more uh game fixed crash when clients joining a save game where loot bag was collected by another player good in case incomplete doors will no longer have collision after loading uh the player can no longer eat or drink items while gliding or zipping that's good because that was a pain players will now drop all hauled items when starting zipping this kind of sucks because it was good for building but that's okay but you could still put the items on the zip line themselves to get your items moving around the player can no longer attack while gliding that's a good thing because you're using both of your hands 
Air bubbles will no longer spawn in large clumps when first approaching their source. Uh, door frames now uh, now have collision applied to them, uh, fixing issue where craft and equipped uh, could cause random inventory item to get uh, to get equipped. That's weird. I had that happen. Thankfully, they fixed it. Uh, dew drinking while hauling is disabled to prevent issues where dew disappears without giving you any hydration. Structures that were anchored to certain objects, such as the baseball or flagstones, will no longer be considered unsupported. Which is good because uh, you need all of your structures to be supported at all times because otherwise if you destroy one, you end up losing all of it. And that's never a good thing. Uh, fixed issue where uh, kick players end up having their inventory lost. That's good. We talked about that. Fixed issue where depositing items into a full container uh, with a controller. Yeah, you don't get to worry about that anymore. Hauled items will can will correctly be dropped when knocked in down in multiplayer. Uh, the drop web will properly be displayed on clients. And then there's many, 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 many more, guys. I'm going to leave this up for you guys to go through and read it if you want to. Um, gnats will get happy after boops more consistently, so attack more gnats. Aphids now will uh, face the correct direction when descending grass blades. Uh, clovers now save and restore properly. Uh, grubs can no longer be dug up with a repair tool or mint mace. Fixed issue where sometimes sleeping creatures were displayed while as awake on clients and mites no longer sometimes animate like they're walking and, and while not moving. And there's a couple other small things in here, guys. Um, like muscle sprouts respawning, brat burst now visually work correctly, uh, punch out juice drops now respond properly after 72 hours, and more and more and more stuff there. And I would invite all you guys to go out and explore this update even more because there's so many things added to it. There's so much you can do now, and there's so much more fun to be had, especially with the availability to go out and reach out and find new things, fight new things, build new things, and prepare your base for other things that are going to be coming to the game. New ants, crickets, um, new leeches and all sorts of other things that could be coming very soon that I personally am very excited about. But that's where all the time I have left for this video. So thank you guys all so much for watching it. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, leave a like down below. Also, if you guys want to leave me a comment on whether or not you think that he's adorable, because I know he already is, and I'll make sure that I uh, heart that for you guys. Subscribe today, and as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.